were back. And man, is it getting hot here in Costa Rica. So I decided to come down to the pool and stick my toes in the water to cool off a little. Well, you know, Blue Torch TV sent a group of five surfers down to Baja, Mexico a while back in search of epic waves and some big summertime south swells. Who knows what kind of trouble these guys are going to get into south of the border. So all week long, you want to stay tuned as we're going to bring you a five-part series Monday through Friday on their adventures. So right now, let's start with part one of the Baja Road Trip. Yeah, yeah, check it out, check it out. This here, on the road to life, you know what I'm saying? Too many spectators, man, peep it out. Lyric lean tune at my utmost, severe like cutthroat. That was force reckless, raw with no protection. That dominant able, a wall robbing your cradle, raping your adolescent mind. At that well defined, on this highway to hellbound, hexing while you spellbound, but on a stagnant plane, all talk with no brain. See, I'm past that. This surf trip mission is to cover 180 degrees of south swell surf. Ba buggies, airplanes, you name it, this trip's got it. A productive life, making its way dark to life, well, on this road to life, and that's mine. My name is Jeff Simonson. I'm the videographer and coordinator. The group of guys I put together on this trip are not only great professional surfers, but they're also good friends of mine. And I knew in any situation that uh, these guys wouldn't give up, that uh, they're all friends and they pretty much do anything for each other. Uh, Roger Jeffrey, Eric McHenry, Zach Reinhardt, Jameson Johnson, a.k.a. Ratty, and even the pilot, Jeff Kurtz. There's just this horrible sound. Uh, Zach asked me what's going on, and I say, well, the window just blew out. I just kind of put the camera up there, and you can see all the jagged edges, and, and then another pull happened, kind of a sucking pull happened, and you can see the rest of the glass would go. And by that time, I knew the glass was sucking out, but it was kind of dangerous, and I told Zach to go ahead and duck his head. That was the cleanest flight ever, huh? That was pretty clean. That was the thing about going to sleep. I was a little skeptical about getting back on the plane, but figured if the pilot, Jeff, was ready to get back in and give it another go, I was, I was ready to go with. And um, I was stoked I did because we got to see a lot of nice coastline and stuff on our way to Natividad. And when we finally got there, I was super stoked. It was a really nice place. We finally arrived to Natividad for some fun waves and some good times. Although the waves were lined up and the wind was howling offshore, it provided for some clean barrels. To be a boss and I guess you just gotta be willing to go with anything, you know? Go with the flow, I guess. I'm here on this trip as a Baja survivor because I climb trees and pick my nose. I think I have the best chance of surviving here in Baja because I brought the secret stash of Snickers. A 
Although the conditions weren't ideal, the boys seemed to be having a lot of fun, and that's what matters. I could pull in backside. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you check in tomorrow and see what happens when the boys decide to steal the pilot's rum and check the surf with the early morning hangover. Hey everyone, look 